Well, we're trying to go about it the same way that I think uh, moms and dads around the dinner table or a small businessman or businesswoman would go about it, and that is uh, carefully, thoughtfully, and by setting priorities. I think our top priority from the House side, and I think President Herodopoulos would share it, is don't raise taxes uh, in an environment where we have high unemployment and economies under stress. So I think the first goal is don't make it any worse. Don't raise the cost of living on Floridians. So begin with, the, with the, that principle and then set priorities. Uh, we've tried in the past, and I think we'll, we'll do this going forward, prioritize people over things. And uh, the two most important areas or the biggest areas of the budget are education and health care. Uh, there's been a lot of turmoil coming that we've seen you know, with Washington passing uh, the National Health Care Act. That's now in a bit of state of flux. So trying to be uh, agile enough to respond to the pressures from Washington, but just uh, use common sense. If we have a limited amount of money, you don't increase your, your, your taxes, you reduce your spending. And I've got to say uh, how optimistic I am that with President Herodopoulos' leadership in the Senate and Governor Scott's leadership in the governor's office, that the three of us, we, we are different people. You know, we may have different ideas and life experiences, but we share a common philosophy, you know, that, that, that government exists to serve people, not the other way around. And so I think we're going to just, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do what moms and dads would do, which is reduce our spending to meet our income and set priorities.